This is a book review of Competing in the Age of AI. We are Accessory to Success and review a lot of business books here. This is a website for writers, business leaders, entrepreneurs. If that sounds interesting, subscribe to our email newsletter. We send out once a week with book recommendations, reviews, takeaways from these great business books. There are a lot of other book recommendations made in this review. You can find links to all of those in the blog post. Thanks for listening. And now let's move into the main takeaway for this great book. AI definitely has the strength to take the reins in today's economy. Yet few allow artificial intelligence to manage the organizational core. Competing in the age of AI challenges upper management's resistance, a resistance grounded in ignorance of technology versus traditional practices. Here are some bullet point takeaways of what you'll learn in this book. Learn how organizations can redefine creation, share, capture, and deliver through artificial intelligence. See how tech broadens scope through simplified connection to a global digital network. Read about challenges facing leaders of traditional and digital firms. See the ways AI removes constraints on learning and scale. Discover pros and cons created by digital firms. Now on to the main summary. Separately, the authors have written and studied hundreds of firms. They are advisors and professors of technology and business, making their arguments worth considering by both business and layman. The authors hover over the impact of Ant Financial being grounded in a digital core. No workers, no managers, no employees, yet still capable of running an operation with dynamic growth and impact, while disregarding constraints limiting traditional firms, i.e. the human element and the element's potential for flaws and misjudgments. Competing in the age of AI comes back around to Ant Financial often using it as a prime example of how AI can change the business world and, in turn, the world altogether. Everyone's heard of Capital One and Bank of America, but Ant Financial doesn't ring any bells. Yet this financial company provides services to more than 10 times the customer base of any of the country's largest banks, and it managed to reach this plateau utilizing one-tenth of the workforce. The breadth of Ant Financial's reach and its almost meager costs to achieve this position has been attributed to the corporation's extensive and enthusiastic embrace of data and AI, artificial intelligence, to manage Alipay, the company's core mobile payments platform. A good book to read about focusing on what is important would be The One Thing. The authors put forth the idea that AI, leaning towards a digital slant, is not to be feared. In a recent post on Harvard Business Review, the professors said, AI that can drive the explosive growth of a digital firm often isn't even that sophisticated. They do not advocate the replacement of humans, but put forth the benefit of computers performing traditional tasks and the significant benefit to production. They discuss successful tech developed by the likes of Amazon and Ocado, robots performing actions as opposed to humans, but they do consider this weak AI, processes and operations that have no true impact on growing a company. Using the term AI-centric, competing in the age of AI argues organizations need to put aside trepidations about tech and waiting for the other guy to do it first, and, like Ant Financial, to take the leap and get on the bandwagon. The book's core plan for AI is broken down into four components, data pipelines, algorithms, experimentation, and infrastructure that connects tech processes. Unify processes regardless of consumer experience that brings businesses to customers. To successfully focus on implementing AI in your company, you will need a narrow focus. Learn to shed some responsibility and focus on this important initiative. Reading the book Essentialism will help. Competing in the Age of AI asks the power players, the influencers, to reconsider waiting for the competition. Data science and machine learning is the next phase for all industries. According to one report from Emerging Jobs at LinkedIn, these fields are in the top 20 fastest growing professions. If you're looking for a job in AI, read the book Who. The authors tackled the idea that what seems like a big task, which it is, would not necessarily be an expensive one, considering the bottom line returns. They lay out a foundation. New teams may not necessarily be required to implement a digital revolution within the company. Have current commercial teams break down the data to collect putting each point through testing. The authors, as industry professionals, both technical and non-technical, want CEOs and department heads to recognize the accessibility of AI and the reward for the simple process of implementation. Businesses typically shy away from revolutionizing technology, preferring to wait for everyone else to make it worth their while. 
The book Innovator's Dilemma is all about this. Even as artificial intelligence and big data continues to prove itself through companies like Ant Financial, businesses in general remain skeptical. Is this tech as revolutionary and inevitable as the Industrial Revolution? The authors would debate in the affirmative. They embrace the idea that AI economy is pretty much infinitely scalable and that self-reinforcing loops of learning and networking encourage enhanced returns. Another book on revolutionizing an industry is Alibaba, the house that Jack Ma built. About the authors, Marco's expertise lies in digital innovation with a focus on business and strategy and operating model transformation. He's also the head of Harvard's technology and operations unit. He works with global 1,000 companies guiding their digital strategy and transformation. Professor Ayansadai's research has covered Facebook, Amazon, Google, IBM, and Microsoft. His other books, One Strategy, Organization, Planning, and Decision-Making, with Steve Sinofsky. The Keystone Advantage, What the New Dynamics of Business Ecosystems Mean for Strategy, Innovation, and Sustainability, with Roy Levine. Of more than 100 cases, articles, and notes from the author, highlights include the truth about blockchain, the ecology of strategy, managing our hub economy, and digital ubiquity. Each of these pieces published in Harvard Business Review has distinguished a top 10 article of the year. Kareem Lakani is Harvard Business School's Charles E. Wilson Professor of Business Administration, as well as a Dorothy and Michael Heinz Fellow. Co-director and founder of the Laboratory for Innovation Science at Harvard, Professor is Principal Investigator for Harvard's Institute of Quantitative Social Science at the NASA Tournament Laboratory. He is also faculty co-founder for Harvard's Digital Initiative, chair of the Harvard Business School Analytics Program. His specialties are innovation and technological management. He's authored case studies and articles on the changing nature of companies and the workplace and digital economy. He co-edited Open Innovation and Perspectives on Free and Open Source Software and Revolutionizing Innovations, Users, Communities. In his portfolio of over 100 articles and case studies, including research published in Wired, the Boston Globe, Inc., Business Week, the New York Academy of Sciences Magazine, the Washington Post, Science, Fast Company, and The Economist. A couple of very qualified authors with an amazing book about AI here, Competing in the Age of AI. We are accessory to success. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. There's a lot of other book recommendations in this review. You can find links to all of those in the blog post. Don't forget to sign up for our email newsletter and follow us on social media. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next review.